Okay, let's head out and start catching. Time is on the clock. Where the heck are all the fish? There's one. It's an itty bitty little one. Let's see what this one is. All right, we got ourselves one. Ooh, isn't he cute? The sea butterfly. <laughs> Welcome to Darling Games. Today we are back playing Animal Crossing. It has been a minute since I have played Animal Crossing. So the last episode we were in the fall. Now we are in the winter because while I'm not necessarily time traveling, I'm not staying in the days. So things will have happened a little faster than they probably would have if we just did one day at a time, but that's okay. So we are getting ready to hop into today. Hello there everyone. So right now on Daisy, it is 12.51 on Saturday, January 14th. We are hosting a fishing tournament. Yay. The tournament will run till 6 p.m. Anyone can participate. Just check in the tent at the plaza. That's all for today. Have fun out there. Ooh, I'm a mess. Look at that. We are such a mess. Much better. But well, we could probably change that outfit because we're not in Halloween anymore. Let's see what we got. We got something from mom. Our mom is so sweet. We got a zero rank. Okay. Good to know. Another gift from mother. And another zero rank. Ooh, I have cockroaches. That would be why I have a zero rank. All right, let's get this little guy. They run so fast, it's hard to get them sometimes. And I got another one back here. All right, we got him. I'm not sure how many we're going to have in each room, but probably two. I'm thinking that's normally what we have is like two cockroaches in each room. So let's go back in the other room. I think this might be our very last one. Is it? Yay! Oh, good. All the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better now. Nice. Nice to have a nice clean house. Now, hopefully I won't get any more zeros on the ratings. What did we get? We got some Nook Mile tickets. We got mom's art. And a hand knit sweater. Oh, maybe we could wear that. Let's see about mom's art. Maybe we could put that like on the wall. Let's go over here. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Look at that. I don't remember seeing that. Huh. Hang a wreath on the wall, too. That's cute. We got another wreath that maybe we can give to somebody. We also have this that we could hang on the wall. Okay, we'll start with that. I could probably remove my hat. I don't need it anymore since it's not like Halloween fall time, so maybe we could just wear something else. Or maybe no hat at all, I'm thinking. And then we'll just place everything in storage because I really don't need all of this stuff sitting here. Do I have any pants in storage that might be better than these? Do I have like have anything? I have white pants. Okay, let me put on the pants and the shoes I grabbed out of storage. That way we look a little bit better for the time. I kind of want to customize this sweater. Can I customize it? No, but I thought you could. I thought you could change it. Oh well, that's okay.
So we're gonna have to go talk to him about the fishing tourney. Uh, are any of our villagers home? They are not. Well, let's just go collect some shells that we can sell because it's always beneficial to do that. And we're gonna grab this fossils here as well and maybe try to talk to this villager. It's been so long I forgot who my villagers are. Who is this? Maggie. Oh, Maggie's not going to come talk to me. I think we're just going to clean up a little bit and just kind of do some daily stuff and then we'll do that fishing tournament. Ooh, there's our money rock. I always love getting the money rocks, especially when like early game because then you get the extra money. And I'm getting pretty close to being able to um, have like the 99,000 bells where I can just drop the bells, but I'm trying to pay off the renovation that we did to our house, so it's good to get the money rocks. Never want to forget them. Let's see what we got. Got a rock. I definitely want to try to get my Nook Mile Plus today, if I can. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to get, but we're going to try. Let's grab the snowflake too, maybe. Oh good. Sometimes I'm like really bad at getting those snowflakes. Ooh, good thing I took out my net or I would have got myself stung. I'm just gonna run around and get some of these money trees and do, oh, there went my ax, darn it. Oh no, thank you for your service, Faithful Axe. We're gonna cut down these money trees and grab all this money. Oh, I was afraid I lost it. Crap! I think I didn't. Okay, I know I already got the wood from this one, but we're just gonna cut it down anyway. Because I like to cut down the money trees, that way they just kind of get them out of there and they don't add to the trees that I have to shake to get all my money out of and my items. Ooh, we're close to being maxed out here. We got another rock. And I like to kind of dig up those tree stumps too. Otherwise they start getting cluttered and clutter like the whole island. So I hope I get a gold stone, but I did not, unfortunately. Let's grab those other snowflake over here. It's kind of fun playing in the winter. I like playing in the winter. You got all the snow on the ground and all the snowflakes. We need to water some flowers. Did we get any specialty flowers? Doesn't look like it. We got that black one and the pink one, but I think we had those before. Let's grab this stuff out of the middle. Looks like we got tons of fruit back there. Yeah, one of my goals early on was to have like a whole bunch of fruit trees so that we could make a bit of money in the beginning. We'll water and try to get some hybrids. I really would like to get purple pansies this time. That would be really cool if I could get some purple pansies. Yeah, I had never actually gotten purple pansies on my other islands outside of going to like a treasure island to get them. And I don't know why that is because I tried to breed them like crazy. My daughter actually got one and all she did was just put a ton of pansies together and eventually she got a purple one. Me, I tried to like breed them, the reds and the blues together. Never got one. So I'm not sure why, but hopefully on this island I will be able to get a purple one. Because that is, I would say that that's like my number one goal for my hybrids is to get a purple pansy. All right, I think we did all of our flowers. So let's see if there's something over here. Let's grab some snowflakes on the way. That way maybe if we get some snowflake DIY stuff, we can do it. Look at the pretty snowflake. Wow, a snowflake. And shake some trees. Get whatever it is out of these trees that we have over here. Some of them I think I might've already shaken before, but I'm not sure. So we are just going to shake them again. It's another early island thing that I really like to do is just shaking all the trees, getting everything possible out of the trees because you get extra money just like that. 
So these Halloween things I'm thinking we can probably take down. More money. Let's get this rock here real quick. Nope, not our money rock. That's okay. So maybe we'll get a gold stone out of this rock. Let's see. No gold stone. I should say gold nugget, right? Isn't that what it's called? A gold nugget? Of course, we don't have any of the gold DIYs yet, so I don't know why I'm worried about it because we can't really do anything with it yet. But when we get the gold DIYs, I want to be able to make stuff. And another money tree. Jeez, how many money trees did we plant last time? We're just going to chop this one down too so that we don't add extra trees that we have to shape. It's like really messy over here, all these weeds. We'll grab this fossil. Because yeah, I don't have a lot of the fossil items in the museum, so I should be able to donate a bunch of them and get stuff out of the museum. So far, I haven't seen any of my items fall out of the tree yet, so they must be up on the hills. I'm not sure. And then I've got some of these fruit trees, and these ones aren't native to my island, so I need to plant more of these and, like, dig up some of the native ones so that way I get more money when I'm selling them. But I have, just haven't done that yet. And we've got another money tree. Let's just pick up all the fruit because I want to try to get like the three star island rating. Oh, there's a balloon. But um, I have to get like all this fruit and stuff off the ground. I'm really bad at not picking up after myself normally, but we're just going to pick up after ourselves. Make it so that we hopefully get a good island rating when we finally get that opportunity. And um, I really need to clean up all this fall stuff because it's just not relevant anymore but I will get around to that. Cause right now I just don't have a lot of storage in my pockets and I also don't have a lot of storage back in my house. So let's do the snowball. I love making little snowmen or snow boys, I guess they're called. I remember when we first got to the snow season, I did not time travel to the snow season, but my kids had time travel to the snow season. And the first time I made a snowball, I just absolutely loved it. It's such a fun little thing to do. Oh, there's my other snowball. Good thing. It's pretty close, so that's good. That way we don't have to go too far. I don't think it has to be like a certain size when you do your first one. I think you just have to put two together. All right, let's get this balloon. And what did we get? Oh, we got some iron nuggets. Just drop them, pick them back up so it adds to our pile. Okay, let's finish the snow boy. It takes a minute to roll it out and get it all completed. So we haven't had any snow boys yet, so we'll get one of the DIYs. And I'm curious to see which DIY we get. I like the one that's the ice cream, like the popsicles. I really like that DIY. And I'm trying to think what other one that I like. I like the fence, but the fence I don't think you get from the snow boys. I think the fence might be one that falls from a balloon. Alrighty, there's our little snow boy. Ah, nice to meet ya. Finally, we can talk face to face. I was eager to meet you, even when I was still just a million little flakes. Nice work rolling me up, bud. As you can see, I'm a snow boy. I won't last forever, so let's have some fun on the island while we can. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DIY recipe with such a gifted snow crafter. Let's see. I know, I'll give you a snow table. So we gotta check our Nook phone and take a large snowflake too. Oh. Good thing. Good thing we got that. Let's run back in our house really quick. I need to put some things away because our pockets got too full. Of course, I'm a little worried that our house is going to get too full too, so I don't know how much stuff I'm actually going to be able to store. Let's head out. Let's 
So let's go talk to CJ because we can probably do, let's get our fishing rod ready. We'll see what we can do about this. So the rules are easy and breezy. Just got to catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch nets you points, even enough, net enough points and you can swap them for some sling fish, slick fish swag. Also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stowed there. Keep the pox pockets dry. That means as long as you've got a fishing rod, you have all you need to complete. Simple, right? And you can enter as many times as you like. What do you say? Ready to get your feet wet in the fishing tourney? The entry fee is waived for the first run. Sure. Sign me up. Aye, aye. All right. I'm going to spray three minutes on the clock and catch as many fish as you can. There's also a bonus that'll backstroke in if you catch at least three fish. Okay, let's head out and start catching. Time is on the clock. Where the heck are all the fish? There's one. It's an itty bitty little one. Let's see what this one is. All right, we got ourselves one. Oh, isn't he cute? A sea butterfly. Here's another one. It's another little small one. I would hope that I could get some fish that I haven't donated to the museum yet, but I don't know if I'm going to because I think I've gotten most of these fish that are out here during like this time frame. Got our second one. And we got a horse mackerel, which I know we've already donated that one. Okay, here's another one. Can we get this one? I don't know. I kind of like put a bunch of stuff. I put all those butterflies over there. That way I can um, get it from Flick. I can have him make like little statues. Okay, we got that one too. Nice. Now anything we catch is now a bonus. Here's one. Here's one over here. Oops. Turned around on me. Don't you hate it when they like turn around and then you try to like throw your line and then they turn around again. Got him. We got a pond smelt, which I'm pretty sure we've already donated a pond smelt. Well, maybe we haven't actually. Maybe we have not donated that. Oh, darn, I missed that bug. Oh, we might be too far away. Well, maybe not. Okay, we got them. We're doing pretty good so far. I wonder how many we're going to get. It would be nice if we could get quite a few and rack up the points. Here's one right there. Let's grab this little guy. Uh-oh, I'm too far away. But now when they bite like right away, I never know if I'm gonna get them, but I got that one okay. Looks like our time is almost running out. We only have 30 seconds left. Can I get this one over these bushes? I think we are about out of time. I don't know if we're going to be able to get another one or not. Nope, there's none down here. Yeah, I'm thinking probably not. Might as well just pick up stuff on the way back because we are out of time completely. We'll go back and talk to CJ. Hey, hey, there's my favorite angler. How was it? Have fun? The fish you caught are all partying in the cooler. You can catch, you can fetch them later. Or if you don't want them, I'll buy them. I need fresh fish for my live stream to keep my followers following. But first things first, let's check out what you caught in the tourney. Looks like seven fish stowed in the cooler. Oh, with a solo bonus, wadding up to three more fish. Nine points. Nice. So if you've got enough points in your pool, you can swap them for some slick fish swag. Okay, I'm thinking that we're going to sell some stuff to CJ. So let's see if we can sell him the fish that are in our cooler. We're going to sell them all because we already got all those. All right, let's see. There's seven fish in the cooler. 3,900, not bad. Definitely going to sell. What a haul. Yes, absolutely. So we'll have to clear out the cooler. So I think I'm going to end this here. I'm actually going to play a little bit more on the fishing tournament, but I won't bore you with the details. So that is it for today. I think I'm going to finish this episode and thank you guys so much for joining me at Darling Games. Have an awesome day. Bye. Bye.